So welcome to the next video and in this video me and Sam together are going to be rebuilding and modifying a Vauxhall VXR engine. Uh, we do quite a few of them, Sam, Sam loves a VXR so uh, yeah we, uh, we do seem to do quite a few VXRs and, uh, and this one's going to be slightly modified as well. So this is for a customer called Reese. Sam's already stripped the engine, so we've missed that part of it. So we're carrying on from it being stripped to the whole cleaning process. Um, we've got to um, peg the block because he wants to run a bit of boost. So we'll machine all that and show that being done. Um, as you can see, it's in a bit of a bad state at the moment. So it's got a heavy build up of rust and silt and junk in the waterways <clears throat> there's a lot of dirt all over the engine it ain't looking that pretty to be honest um, the cylinder heads pretty much the same um, that's the bottom part of the sump down there this is all his parts in here and then Reese has already bought up all the all the parts for his engine everything's supplied by nevlock um i think jordan sorted him out for everything makes our job a little bit easier because we use nevlock anyway so everything that reese has supplied we would buy for it from nevlock so um we've got no problem fitting these parts because we know that they're awesome so sam's now going to debung it and decore plug it and then later on today we're going to get it in the acid bath and leave it in there to pickle away. So Sam's just ran into the first snag and that is this oil gallery bunk here. It's not coming out. So we're going to drill this and extract it. We've got it now though. Um, so Sam's fitted the wedges into the VXR block. So the next job for that is we're going to skim the block face and then get ready to bore it and hone it to size.
So the next thing on the VXR is to hone the cylinders. So I'm going to start off with a coarse um, finish stone and then I'll get it to size and then just put a smooth finish in and just take the last little bit out with the smooth. Then it's just a final prep of the block and then it needs about two hours in the cleaner and then we'll keep stopping it, turning it over, jet washing it out, making sure all the oil galleries are clean and, uh, and then it's ready to build. So while Sam's cleaning up the caps, I'm cutting the, the valve seats on the VXR. So I thought I would just show that quick. I'm doing the inlet seats first. <clears throat> so I've plotted the angle off the inlet valve, replicated it onto the cutter. Um, I've done a couple already. So this one I've just done. So I'm gonna back the machine off, blow the swarf off it, and then uh, go for another seat. So with this, just make sure it all sits nice, switch the magnet on, and then hit the button for self-centering. The servos do the work then to find the true center of the, um, of the valve guide. And then the computer part of the seat cutter tells me when it's ready to lock off, which is now. And then I just place the Vera drive onto the top of the seat cutter then very carefully just start to come down and cut the seat and then back it off
So what Sam's doing now is just balancing the crankshaft assembly. We've balanced the crank. He's just had to take a little bit off the front here to get the crank into balance. And some off the back of it here as well. So what, what we've done now is change the settings on the machine and he's balancing the front pulley and the flywheel. He's talked to all the mains, he's paint penned them so we know that they're all done up. Have you done any of the big ends yet, Sam? Mm -hmm. Have you tightened the big ends yet? Or not? No. No, so he's just got to tighten all the big ends. I'm not listening to you, I'm listening to Chuck Berry. Sam's listening to Chuck Berry. Not his father.
So that's the VXR engine completely finished now and Reese is on his way to collect it. So brief spec of this engine, all, all the parts were supplied by the boys at Nevlock, so uh, big shout out to them. It's got steel rods, forged pistons, ACL race bearings, we've balanced the crankshaft assembly, we've checked the balance on the pistons and rods, polished the crank, we've put pegs in the waterways just to help the block not split open with boost. Um, it's rebored to 86 and a half mil. The cylinder head uh, with or Sam has refaced the exhaust face because it was it had some corrosion in it and there is tiny little bits of it left there but you can't you can't feel it. Uh, we've put a couple of thread inserts in it. It runs Nevlock um, cams. It's got brand new followers in it. It's got um, gates, high performance timing belt, all new timing belt kit, R&D vernier pulley, pulleys. I've set the cam timing to 110 degrees. Uh, all the gallery bungs have been out of it. So it's got all new gallery bungs in it, all new core plugs, new water pump. <coughs> Reese bought a new sump. We've cleaned up the uh, lower part of the block. We painted it in gloss black. The head's been through the acid bath. Uh, the oil seal, it's got all the, all the rear capsule sealed on and whatnot. So yeah, it's all, it's all completely finished now. We're just waiting for, for Reese to come and collect it. He's bought a new rocker cover for it as well and a clear timing belt cover. So it should do quite well. I mean, it'll probably do, it'll probably hold 450 horsepower quite easy. I don't know what turbo is running and injectors and things, so. It's actually going in a Suzuki Swift as well, so um, the car should be should be epic. So all we've got to do now, when Reese gets here, is take the engine off the engine stand, put the flywheel, clutch, bolt all that on it, torque all that up, and then just tape up all the holes that lead to the internal of the engine. So the breathers, both um, sides of the cylinder head, all the breather chest here, the oil return, crankshaft position sensor. But that's a, another engine done. <coughs> this is the first full engine build that's happened in the new engine build room. So uh, yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. Really chuffed with Sam as well. He's done, like I said, he's done 80% of that himself. So he's done an incredible job of it. So it's all looking good. And that's it. That's, uh, that's the VXR engine completely finished. So thanks to Reese for letting us build his engine. Uh, thanks to all the boys at Nevlox for supplying all the parts. Uh, R&D for the vernier pulleys. Um, and that's it, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you could subscribe as well if you haven't, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, if you could hit that subscribe button for us, that'd be, that'd be awesome as well. Thanks, see you on the next video.